Welcome on and all. In this video, I'm going to continue exploring the concept of locating points in three-dimensional space. In the previous video, I showed you how to locate points in that plane. I showed you how to locate points in that plane. And I showed you how to locate points in that plane right there. So now let's continue by locating points in a kind of general three-dimensional space, like for example, where my fingertip is located, right? That is there, as you can see, three-dimensional space. So to do that, take a look. I'm going to follow the convention, which is you read the value of the x-coordinate first. That there that I'm tracing, that's my x-axis. That there that I'm tracing is my y-axis. And lastly, vertically up and down, as convention states, is the z-axis. So take a look here. To locate a point within this space, you might proceed as follows. First, you identify your x-coordinate. So for example, I'm going to say that my x-coordinate, say, is this value of 3 in that position. That's 3 right there. That's the x-coordinate. Then you read off your y-coordinate, for example, like 5. And then after that, you would basically go up some number of units, and that would be your z-coordinate, whatever that happens to be. I'm going to illustrate that a little better than that. Take a look. I'm putting this right here. If you look through that, take a look. You see that the x-coordinate there is 3. The y coordinate, as you can see, is 5. And now I'm going to go up some number of units. So in my case, I have a little thing prepared that goes up to 6 along the z axis. I'm going to put that in a position and I'm going to restore the other position for a second. So this is the whole kind of picture right here in 3D. And it looks like this from this perspective. This is looking down into the y z plane, for example. And it looks like this, from this perspective, this is looking at, for example, the XZ plane. Let's do one more of these for the sake of practice. One is usually not enough, so I'm just going to reposition this somewhere else. So, for example, I'm going to try it, say, all the way out here on the periphery. I'll position these things and then I'll talk about them. Take a look. So, I'm going to read off the X coordinate, reading beginning from the origin as always. So, the X coordinate up to that point is 10, as you see. It's 10 as the x-coordinate value. That's where they meet. That now, as you can see, represents the y-coordinate. That value goes up to 6. Let me turn that so you can see it better. Give me a second here. So as you see, that there goes up to 6 along the y-coordinate. And lastly, now, the z-coordinate goes up to 5. So the coordinates of this point right here, let me zoom out. They would be equal to the following, 10 along the x-axis, 6 along the y-axis, and 5 along the z-axis. That's how you locate that point where my finger is placed. Never mind the labels. The labels are from a previous video. And here's kind of a fly-through. So you understand how things actually appear in three dimensions. Because that's where we actually live, right? In three dimensions. And then, of course, there's the fourth dimension of time. That also affects us. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another Physical Math video.